Hello guys, well, welcome in this second video about PhD proposal. In the first one, I spoke about how to write it and how to develop ideas about it. So if you missed it, just I put the link down below so you can watch it. And today I will speak about how to make a good five minute presentation for to defend your PhD proposal. So it will, I will first give a few tips on general presentation and for this type of presentation as well. And then I will move into the organization. How did I organize my presentation to make it um, really good and high quality? The first tip is the KISS method. Keep it short and simple. Um, just remove everything which could be weird in it. Make it really put big images, remove as much text as possible, be clear, be interested, and show that everything you put has a meaning and has a purpose. Uh, because sometimes less is more, so re removing will be better. It's better to take your time to say less than rushing to say more. Take your time and be clear. This is the most important at the end, that they understand your proposal. The second tip is to remove repetitions and redundancy. If in one of your slides you realize that you say kind of twice the same, then fuse it. Or if, or if in two different slides you repeat things, try to fuse them. For example, for me in my study two and three, it's the same method, it's just at the end we don't use the same treatment. So I pull both slides into one, in which I just say, we do that, and if someone study, we will put this drug, and in the third, we will put this one. And this allows to save both time and to be more clear. The third tip is that each slide should have a purpose. Each slide should have a meaning. So if you have a slide and you don't know what, what's the point of it, just remove it. Remove as many slides as possible. If you do it online, uh, behave like if there is a real audience. So still move your hands, uh, speak with different intonation, sometimes put the emphasis in some words. And the last tip is that if you step about two meters away from your presentation, you should still be able to read and to understand the slide. If not, then it's too small. Okay, so let's move to the organization. My first slide is just titled, supervisors, my name and my uh, current master. Then uh, I made a one slide about the introduction really broad for me to schizophrenia, so what is schizophrenia? And I could really explain it quickly. I put a few images and I put a few words about what it is. The second and third slide were still on the same topic, schizophrenia, but more specific. So you start so you start broad and then you go more specific. So you uh, the person so the jury will understand the flow, the logic in it. And then you go more specific, so you say, this is not known, this is the etiology or something like what you want to investigate. This is the mechanisms that are not really known and we would like to take it further. And then in the next slide, you state the, the aim and the objectives of the PhD. So you say, the aim of this PhD is to, to determine, blah, blah, blah. And then you can also put images to, to explain quickly, to go through the hypothe hypothesis with your audience, so you quickly explain everything you want to show, basically. In the next slide, you will put your methodology. So you explain quickly which methods you want to use, and therefore how you want to respond to your aim and objective, how you want to investigate this. And don't go into detail, just keep it really broad. For me, for example, I said that we want to investigate behavior related to schizophrenia, that we want to investigate inflammation, but I don't explain anything about it, you know? I just say, this is what we want to do. If they want to know more about it, we will ask it. And then I move to my studies. Um, study one, two, three, I quickly explain um, each of them. Broad, not really specific, and with a lot of images, and I removed as much text as possible. I also put animations uh, from with, using PowerPoint, allowing to really take the the jury with me to my journey. Then move to the relevance of a project. How does it help society, um, science, um, what we will learn thanks to it, what mechanisms we will learn, and all these things. Then uh, mention the collaborations, if there are any, and then you can also put the timeline. 
So you put the gain chart, which I spoke about, but I will put it back over there. And you quickly mention, okay, the project can be it's totally feasible within three years, etc. And then the most important, which is which is really important, is the next slide. So you will make a transition, saying something like, while well, having an ambitious, a feasible project is important. At the end, I'm sure you will agree with me, the most important thing is the person will be doing the project. So you say something like that, and then you say, okay, so why do I think I'm the perfect candidate? And then you explain who you are, what you did, which is relevant to your project. What is your experience in research in this field? What techniques have you learned? Do you have the papers already? You can mention all these things. And then you finish by uh, thank you for your time and attention with little side. But uh, don't make the mistake to speak too much about you. Go really quickly um, about you. One minute, two minutes, if it's a bit more than five minutes. But really go quickly. The most important at the end is the research. Um, you have to show that your research, your PhD proposal is good quality and is really useful and well designed, that it makes sense. This is what you want to show, that your PhD proposal is useful and, f um, and of and groundbreaker and great quality. And if you have, have been able to show that, then you can quickly speak about you saying, okay, this is why I'm good for it. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope it was really helpful. Uh, if you want to go further into presenting, I made another video in which I, I give some tips to improve presentations, which I will put in, in the link in the description or just wherever. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and uh, press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Ciao!